Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Uh, we're going to go through how you feel about your person and how your person feels about you. Then we'll pull a card for career and finance. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so let's see how Virgo feels about the person that they're coming to the reading for. How does Virgo feel about this person? That they're coming to the reading for. How does Virgo feel about this person? Okay, so lust. Maybe you feel like they're driven by lust. Um, they're always kind of swayed away. Um, they have a very lusty nature, a very lustful vibe. Um, so that means that, you know, the passion comes and it goes. Um, nothing sticks with them. So maybe you feel like, um, you know, uh, they're attracted to shiny things or shiny new things, shiny new people. Um, let's see, how does Virgo feel about the person that they're coming to the reading for? Low life. Ooh, maybe they're attracted to some low life or maybe they're um, about that low life vibe right now, you know, or they're acting like a low life. Um, let's see, how does Virgo feel about their person? Ooh, okay, so you can feel like they're a con man, a fraud, a liar, it's all caps. So you can feel like this person is defrauding you or they have defrauded you or they're just being a liar, like nothing they say you can trust. All right, let's see. How does Virgo feel about their person that they're coming to the reading for? How does Virgo feel about the person that they're coming to the reading for? Okay, so uh, we'll take this card. Um... All right, so I'm going to take them all, but I'm not going to go into depth with them all. Okay, this came out. So you feel like they're strong, muscular. Okay, maybe that they attract a lot of different people, you know, a lot of different friends or friends with benefits, and that card actually came out. Maybe you feel like you, your relationship is a friends with benefits type of relationship, or they have a lot of relationships where it's friends with benefits. Yeah, they get drunk. And they want to have sex, you know, maybe that lust and drunk sex. You feel like at times they could be sweet and very involved, but um, you feel like there's a dark side also. Let's see how this person feels about you, Virgo. How does the person that Virgo is coming to the reading for, how do they, okay. So they feel like um, you say anything, says anything, you know. Um, so they feel like you maybe don't have a filter or you just say things and you don't mean it suspend it so they feel like maybe um you cut them off or you cut the relationship off it's temporary um it can very well come back together um they feel like maybe you say that you you're done but it's always temporary that you'll be back and um, they feel like you're understanding okay um maybe they're very uh erratic ways uh, they like your body maybe you have a really nice body it can be very physical or with them, they feel like, you know, it's a very physical connection. Um, it's about, um, you know, sex and fun. Maybe they feel like you're hard to handle. This relationship is hard to handle, you know, and therefore there's very little growth here, okay? Um, you could be dealing with someone who's married and they're trying to save their marriage, uh, all the while trying to keep you. Let's see, what is the advice for Virgo? What's the advice for Virgo? What is the advice for Virgo? Look at the bigger picture. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So look at the bigger picture here, full moon and Sag. Um, maybe you kind of drill down on the details and the small things, the minute things, the things that just really don't matter. Look at the bigger picture. Where do you want to be overall with your person in this relationship? Is it that you want to be uh, in a commitment? Is it that you want uh, something bigger to happen for the relationship? Is it that you want the title? Um, nagging, arguing about every little thing is not going to get you there. Let's see what the career and finance messages are for Virgo. Okay, let's see. All right, and we have get outside, take a breather. Okay, so maybe you've been working really, really hard. Um, you've been trying to turn the curve on something. Maybe there was a lot of work to do, so you just got busy on it. And now you're kind of like in the workaholics uh, phase or a stage here. You know, you just need to get outside. You need to take a breather. You need to rest. Come back to it. It'll be there for you. Um, yeah, even after this, it looks like there's a, um, some up leveling here. Um, breathe deeply into your expansion. Like after you finish this thing, um, people are going to see and recognize you for um, doing um, some uh, really high quality work and um, 
You're going to get recognition from some higher ups for really being ded dedicated, up leveling. Yeah, because it says um, your hard work is paying off here. That's very good. Um, you'll be able to afford something expensive. You'll be able to go to the next level. This looks really good for you, Virgo. Um, many blessings to you. If you want to get your own personal reading like this one, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy a coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you.